In this lesson, we're going to go over templates. Templates are worksheets that are already designed for you. When you first started Excel earlier in this course, you saw a start screen with all the different types of templates pictured. These are some templates. When you use a template, all you have to do is replace the information in the worksheet with your own information. They help you save oodles of time and keep your worksheets consistent. In Excel 2013, you can even edit the templates or create your own and, and use those again and again. So let's go choose a template here, just to give you an idea of how easy this works. Let's go and use a monthly meal planner. And we select create. It downloads it, and look at this. Now, there's different worksheets here, each representing uh, recipes, ingredients, and meal plan. You would just replace this with any information you want. French fries, and side dish number two could be Coleslaw. And you would do your own meal plan uh, just like this. And even, you know, you change the date to be 5 1 2014. And it immediately thinks, oh, that's a Thursday. And it's beautiful. It's printable. And all you have to do is just fill in the information. That's it. Whenever you open a blank workbook in Excel, you are opening a template, one in which the margins, font, and themes are already defined. This is called the default template. It's not as fancy as some of the templates you see pictured on the start screen, but it's still a template nonetheless. Now you can edit this template in the same way you'd edit the fancier templates, and then you would just save it as a new template that you can use. So to create a new template, we want to open up a workbook, or we can create a workbook that you want to use as a template. So let's, actually let's open up our data list here. Let's close this other one. We don't want to save it. Now on this data list, let's go ahead and delete all of this information. And we want to make this a template. So what we do is we go under File and we select Save As. And then we want to select this is where we want to save it in our My Documents area, but we want to save this not as an Excel workbook, we want to save this as an Excel template. Very important. And then we click Save, and now this is a template. So now that that's a template, let's close all of Excel. Now let's reopen Excel, let's find out how we can activate this template. We are going to click on Personal, because this is a personal template and we are going to now select our template. And this is our template. That we can use. So those are templates in a nutshell. To again, to open up a template, we go to the backstage area and we select new. And here we can search online for templates. And for example, we can do a search for a calendar template. And, it's, and it'll show us all the calendar templates. We just choose one that we like. And we select Create. If we wanted to create a personal template, we just open up an Excel workbook that can serve as our template, which we've done. We did, we can use this one, for example, if we wanted to make this a template, what we could do is remove the data that's specific here. And again, we would go under File, Save As, um, select the, the place where we want to save it, but this time we're going to Instead of saving it as a workbook, we tell Excel, no, this is a template. So we select Excel template. So this is now a template. And if we want to open up a new Excel spreadsheet with this template, 
we would come here under personal protection.